So let's simply write down the Taylor series for these uh, three points here. So f of x plus dx is equal to f of x plus uh, all the terms that follow. We actually also write down uh, simply the term f of x equals f of x. You will see later why. And the Taylor series for the point x minus dx, or f of x minus dx, is f of dx minus and, and, and so forth. And you see the equations here. So um, actually what we're seeking is um, coefficients, values, real values, with which we multiply the functional values of, of at x plus dx, at x and x minus dx, that uh, allow us to have approximations of first derivative or second derivatives or even higher derivatives. So let's simply multiply each of those equations by a. So the first one by a, the second one by b, the third one by c, and sum them up. So on the left-hand side now, basically we have uh, a weighted sum of the functional values and on the right hand side we have the equivalent expression using Taylor series. So if we extract the function values at x or the derivatives or the second derivatives, um, we, uh, we are left with coefficients uh, with terms that contain the coefficients a plus b plus c uh, or a and c as you see here. And now we can do something that's called compare uh, coefficients um, to actually get uh, conditions under which we will obtain approximations of the value, functional value itself, the first or uh, second derivative. So what are those coefficients a, b, c? If we look at the right hand side of the equation, we can see that if we say a plus b plus c equals zero, then the first term would vanish. If a plus c equals zero, the third term would vanish and we are left with um, something that contains the first derivative plus some terms with a and c. So can we formulate that or reformulate that to find those uh, coefficients? That can be done using matrix vector uh, notation, as we see here. We can simply write those uh, conditions formally a plus b plus c equals zero, a minus c equals, uh, in this case, one over dx, and a plus c equals zero. And this is now written in matrix vector form, uh, as you see here, with a system matrix A, the um, unknown coefficients a, b, c, that we, uh, use the, the, we use the letter w for weights, and on the right-hand side, basically the desired solution, in that case, it's zero, one over dx, and zero. So this can be simply inverted by, um, you know, matrix inversion scheme to obtain the coefficients a, b, c, and a, in that case, is one over two dx, b equals zero, and c equals minus one over two dx. If we put that back into the left-hand side of our equation, we can easily see that we get the, f the f definition of the first derivative, f of x plus dx minus f of x minus dx divided by 2dx. And that's the, uh, the classic central uh, uh, derivative, central finite difference approximation. So let's see if we can use the same approach to calculate the weights, the coefficients for the second derivative a plus b plus c has to be zero, a minus c has to be zero, and a plus c has to be two divided by dx squared. Now we can develop the system matrix uh, for this and uh, solve the matrix inverse problem, and here we go. So we obtain uh, a, b, and c, and if we put it back into the, to the left-hand side of the equation, we recover the original definition of the uh, second derivative uh, for the finite difference uh, approach. And that's a very elegant way of uh, coming up with these operators. And actually we will see uh, in the next step that this approach helps us to uh, get more accurate um, operators by using more points uh, than simply the three, for example, for the second derivative.